All right, I'm making a video now to show how to restore um, the Smart Fade to factory settings and uh, then reload the scene from the computer. So uh, what the problem that you might run into is it's gonna freeze. You see the live channels, um, or the live step is switching between eight and nine, and the next step is between, looks like nine and 10. It's kind of caught between steps and freaking out. And on stage, it looks like it's on one scene, but it's not responsive. I can't clear it. This doesn't do anything. Um, no buttons do anything, like it won't obey my commands. So what you have to do is unplug it, and then hold down the check mark right here and plug it back in. I'm gonna do that and you won't be able to see it. But... Hold down the check mark and plug it back in. And then it will load to, say, entering test mode, release buttons. And you can just kind of fly through the, the, the tests here. We don't really care about the tests. So just keep it in the check mark. Update firmware, no. System shut down. And then when you turn it back on, it will be restored to factory settings. Yeah, we want full control for the startup mode. Stack empty. Um, this is the channel layer, but there's no mems anywhere. No mem, no mem pages have any mem stored, so this is completely wiped clean. Um, and then over here on the computer, uh, if it's not on, you'll have to turn it on. The power button's right here, top left. And the password is 9111. And then come down here and search for Smart Soft. Is the software smart? Soft? Boom. And you'll need to check that this is online. Um, if this is blue and offline, then it's not seeing the light board. Uh, it should, if the light board's turned on, uh, there's a USB cable going between the two, it should already see it. If it doesn't for some reason, check that the cable's there, check that the light board's turned on, close and reopen. Um, the application if you need to. And then over here in system, right here, um, over here on the left is some options for saving and loading. So we're gonna do open and just find the most recent um, date. So November 18 is what we're working with right now. These are all the store girl sets. Um, but November 2018, open. And it'll take a few seconds um, actually do that but now you can see it says now there is an um, actual stack and it's on step lot, uh, 11 right now and I'm on mem page 1 I've got some mems loaded this is our toolbox over here on mem page 1 so that loaded it now the final step you have to do is menu and settings you have to set it to the correct MIDI channel there's 16 MIDI channels by default, it's gonna be set to channel one, but we want it on channel 10. So MIDI channel 10, cool, and then all the way back. And then I, I like to, uh, while I'm in here, change the display. This is kind of hard to see. We go to display, contrast, oh, sorry. Contrast, and turn the contrast down a little bit. Go down to like 20. It just makes it a little easier to see what the LC, uh, what the display says. Cool. So that is that. That's how you restore it if you run into trouble. Um, and now you can see it's going to obey my commands. I've hit the play button to move forward in the stack. Just like nothing ever happened. It's all good. Um, so this took four minutes to explain it. I think you could probably do it in like two minutes or less. Um, thanks for watching.